Hey everyone! So if you watch Monday night, I attempted a pearl pour. Never did one before. Of course it didn't come out like I wanted it to. Um, the first one did not come out at all. Um, my second attempt wasn't too bad. It's still drying. But it wasn't too bad. But I think this would be cute embellished with something, so I'm not going to um, pour over that one for sure. So, I thought, what if we try adding a little cloud paint uh, to our mix, just to see if we get some really cool effects. So, I am using the uh, DecoArt 24 Karat Gold from the craft stores that come in the jar and uh, my Prash Posse paints. So I am using Carolina Blue, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, and Moody Blue. And also my Milk Paint, which is from Folk Art. So let's see what happens when we do this. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas. So I already know when I put this on, I have to have enough to really cover the canvas because that's what creates the pearls. At least I think that's how it works. And this is a little on the thicker side because I want these paints to be able to flow off of this paint. Um, these are more um, a thinner pouring consistency. Not as thin as our base paint mix, but a little thinner. So I think we'll be okay. I'm just checking them all. Make sure they're all the same consistency. And my milk paint is the same as those. So, before I pour that, let's do our cup. So, the first color in is going to be my last color out. So, I want that to be the turquoise. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Carolina Blue. I might do a couple layers of these just to mix in some color. Uh, a little bit of the milk paint. And I'm going to go back with the Carolina Blue, because that's more of a phalo blue, and it plays very well with the milk paint. Uh, Moody Blue Shimmer. And then we're going to go back to the turquoise. The Carolina Blue. Some more milk paint. I think I'm going to use it up. I was at the end of the bottle, so I thought, let's use this up today. And back with the Carolina Blue. See how it reacts? Uh, it kind of plays really well, Phalo Blue does, with that milk paint. So I always tell everybody, if you're going to do one, try one in blue. Okay. It's quite a bit of paint, but we have to have enough um, to get over that canvas. So... Let's put our gold down. We want a generous amount of the gold because that's going to be pushed around the canvas. And we're going to do a ring pour right in the middle of that. I don't have too much turquoise in the middle there. We'll find out. We torch those air bubbles. None of these paints have any silicone. Alright. I'm just going to roll it around a little bit. Get it moving. So on these, I kind of want to dump. I don't want a cuppy hand at all. So I'm going to go ahead and head for that corner. See how that phalo blue plays? It's so pretty. So on these, you definitely want to stretch your paint till there's like nothing left. So I'm going to keep playing with this here. At least that's what I was told. <laughs> so I had a rough go on it Monday night, but 
I'll try anything, you know. I'm game. I really like the way that that's working, so let me take a little more off this corner. Get some beautiful gold there on the pad that I can pick up for skins. And I also did that Monday night as well. So I think I'm going to leave it right there. And we're going to come back in 10 minutes to see what happens. We've got our cloud effect going. And we have our pearls starting. I want to just pull this back because I think I might have a little too much paint on that corner. Okay, so let's leave that alone and see what happens in 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We've got some interesting things going on here. We have our cloud effect, but we also have some effect happening here from the Moody Blue Shimmer, because this does have a gunmetal metallic in it, so that's reacting with uh, the cloud paint itself. So let me just wipe off these edges and I'll bring it up and show you some close-ups. So we have our really cool corner here and our really cool cloud effect there. But see this? That is the gunmetal mixing with the cloud paint and making a, an effect all its own. So I can't wait to see this dry. Um, my turquoise, I think, was a little too thick, and I probably poured too much gold off on that corner trying to get that off of there. But it's still coming, and I think we'll still get some more gold coming through. But I will show this on Monday night if it's um, requested, and uh, we'll see what happens. So subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, click like and share. Share it on Pinterest if you want. You have my permission. <laughs> and um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about mixing um, cloud paint in with different things. And we got some really cool stuff in that cup that I'm going to dump out for skin. Um, also, uh, wait, I'm going to wait and do that on silicone. Um, check us out every Monday night. We're live at 9 p.m. and we do all these fun pours. Sometimes we try new stuff. Um, I'm pretty brave trying things, so <laughs> if, if I think I can do it, I do it. Um, if I don't like the technique, I probably won't. Um, and I do let people know what I like and what I don't like. Um, also, um, check out our group on Facebook, The Parage Posse. And through that group, you'll be able to order my ready-to-pour paints with or without silicone. Or you can buy just the pigment and the jars, and um, all that information is in the group. Or you can email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. So check out all the links below, um, sponsor giveaways. Um, our post office box is below if you want to send a gadget for us to use in a, in a video. Um, Alan's usually game for that. And um, Stone Coat Art Coat Resin Code is below if you want $10 off a $95 order. There's just a ton of links below. Check them all out. And I hope to see you all on the next one. Bye now.